Hi everybody. So last week we had a couple of videos about the tube. So today we'll be discussing how do we know whether the tubes are blocked. Today we'll be discussing about a test called the HSG. Please keep watching. My name is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. What is a HSG? A HSG is an acronym for hysterosalpingiogram. And what hystero means is that hystero is the uterus, salpinx or salpingio is anything to do with the tube and gram is just the name for a test. So that's what it means. We're looking at the uterus, we're looking at the tubes. So I've had a lot of women come and say, I know that test, I'm not gonna do it again. It is a very painful test to do, but it is one of the most important tests to be done. Remember, as we said with the previous video, tubal disease causes about 70% of infertility, of the cases that we see. So it's really, really important for us to find out whether there's a tubal problem. If your tubes are blocked, then we know what to do about it and we know what we can do in terms of treatment. So it's really, really important. How is a HSG done? What happens is that a dye is pushed up into the uterus and through the tubes. We put a little instrument at the cervical entrance, push the dye inside, and with that, and when that is happening, we have x-rays being taken. So we can get three or four films of an x-ray being taken, and then we're able to read it. So if the dye does pass and go and is spilt, we will be able to see it on the film. And this is the best news we can get, that the dye had actually passed it through the cervix into the uterus and went and spilled outside into the abdominal cavity. And that's very clear at that point that there's no tubal blockage. So where do you go for a HSG? Before you go for a HSG, it's important for every woman to get a request from a fertility doctor because not everybody needs a HSG. A HSG can be quite painful. You need pre-medication before you do it. You need to go to a place that is sterile and where they're using instruments that are very clean and you're sure about the quality of the, the x-rays that we're going to get. Can a HSG be therapeutic? Yes, it can. Because there's sometimes a mucus plug that's just blocking the tubes. Once we push the dye through the tubes, sometimes the mucus plug goes through the tube and comes out and therefore the tube becomes patent again. So I've had couples who have come, done a HSG and got pregnant after that. And that is one of the greatest joys when only that helped them get pregnant. So please don't be scared about a HSG. It can be therapeutic as well as, as diagnostic. And if you have blocked tubes, something can always be done. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you've learned something, please, share with a friend who may be in need. Please comment below, please ask questions. We are ready to help you. My name is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility where we walk with